so you want to know if the predictions that you see in YouTube on on other social media platforms related to crypto assets is accurate or realistic let's stay stay in the video as I will explain how to go about it the first step is that you need to go either to coin market cap this is the website or coin gecko where you can look for the market cap of the assets that you want to evaluate so I'm just gonna give you an example quickly about Bitcoin where to get the information and then we'll go right next to the spreadsheet now explain exactly how to go about calculating realistic potential performance of coins in this bull run this applies to every single asset that you want to analyze in crypto from very small assets to ethereum for example so let's go here in coin market cap what you want to do is select your asset we're going to select bitcoin you click on bitcoin and then you look at this left side of the page where you see total supply max supply fully diluted market cap so in this case the information that you want is either the market cap which is the value of all the coins of bitcoin that are currently in circulation or the fully diluted market cap that is the value of all the coins that will eventually be in circulation as you all know bitcoin will have 21 million coins in circulation we are at 94.02 percent of issuance so that's why the fully diluted market cap is higher than the market cap i'm using in this example and all my calculations that you will see later fully diluted market cap because i want to include potential dilution of the asset especially if the asset has a lot of printing of coins coming up eventually so you write that down the fully diluted market cap and you put it in the spreadsheet this value obviously is bitcoin goes from 61,000 to 122,000 so it doubles this value will double so it's an ongoing thing that you need to update because every single week some coins will print coins will add to the supply especially the ones that do not have a cap I'm giving an example ethereum doesn't have a cap dogecoin doesn't have a cap so the, the fully diluted market cap evolves all the time so be aware of that some are capped others are not so this is where you can find the information for coin market cap on coin gecko you do the same thing you click on bitcoin or your favorite asset that you want to evaluate and they have all the information here max supply circulating supply volume and then they have the two values here market cap who is lower than fully diluted valuation they call it that i use fully diluted valuation in my calculations and this is the current market cap so i use this number and you go about and you select that in every single asset that you want to compare to Bitcoin. That's what we're going to do. And now let's move to the spreadsheet and you'll see fairly straightforward, fairly simple to follow. And let's go. So let's go over this spreadsheet. I will cover nine very popular altcoins and their potential in relation to the limit that I set for this spreadsheet. First in line, the reference is going to be Bitcoin, number one position on coin market cap. The fully diluted market cap is the number that you see here. The price on the 21st of August was 60,377. And the limit that I set was 50% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. You have to keep in mind that 50% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin is a big target. It's a very challenging target. Currently, just for information, Ethereum is at 25% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. So getting to this level of market cap is extremely challenging for any altcoin, anyone. So this is a target, a very challenging target. So keep that in mind because most probably the coins will 
will grow, but will grow to lower levels. So you have to control your expectations on these altcoins. So let's start. Position 13 in coin market cap is Shiba Inu. Here's the full diluted market cap, the price. And if you calculate the X's, so how many X's will SHIB needs to make in order to get to 50% of the fully diluted mar market cap of Bitcoin? It's 76X. And on completely on the right side, you see the price of Shiba Inu if we ever get to that level. 76X. That's the top, 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 my opinion. It's going to be lower than that, but that gives you a realistic expectation if Shiba grows to be 50% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. Next in line, Polkadot in position 14. It has a, a diluted market cap a little lower than Shiba, so we get 91x and a price of $426 target for Polkadot. 15 very popular altcoin chain link this one has a little higher fully diluted market cap than the other two therefore 55x is my max target according to these calculations pepe first meme coin official meme coin if you want this could be 192x but keep in mind that it's still a meme right and to get to 50 percent fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. It's a challenging target, but here you go, 192X. So if somebody is talking about Pepe and telling you that it could go 500X, 1000X, or something like that, it's never going to happen. Position 35, Sui, very popular altcoin. Uh, it has a lot of users, a lot of transactions. Many people are behind it. It's a serious project. This could be a 74x according to the calculations. Position 42, Injective, who is one of the coins within Solana that is quite popular and is being used a lot. In this case, we're talking about 322x to get to that 50% level and a price of $6,000. Position 43. Arbitrum, also very popular altcoin. In this case, we would be at 115x. Second to last, Dog with Hat, another meme coin at position 50, according to coin market cap. And this would be a little over 400x for this meme coin. Another meme coin. So Pepe would be around 200, and Dog with Hat would be around 400. And finally, the last one that I included in the spreadsheet. Again, you can do this with any type of asset that you like. This could be endless. Once you have the formula set up, it's fairly straightforward. Is position 425. This is further down the list. Obviously, riskier, smaller. You see the fully diluted market cap is 83 million. The other ones are in the billions. So this potentially would be 7,631x if we get to the 50% of fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. In my opinion, it's not going to go there, but that's the potential. When you're nibbling in some of the assets that are further down the list, but again, you need to be realistic. Will this really happen? I do not think so, but it, at least it gives you a scale of expectations for your assets. Don't rely on what people are saying. Calculate the X's yourself and then critique whatever somebody is putting in uh, social media, in any other platforms, so that you cannot be fooled by their claims. And you can actually eliminate some influencers or people who are covering crypto who are telling you unrealistic goals because they don't know what they're talking about. They haven't done these type of calculations. That's another way to focus on people who are reporting realistic potential returns in crypto. That's how you do it. You do it with math. You cannot move away from it. That's how I do it. And that's how I eliminate a lot of noise 
within the research that I do in crypto. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's going to be useful for a lot of people. Keep looking into it. If you need more details about this spreadsheet, let me know in the comments. I will get, gladly uh, go over the details of how I'll build it if people are interested in that type of information. But this is critical. You need to do your own calculations, do your own research. That's what we, people mean by do your own research in order to avoid getting fooled by any claims of crazy returns that may never happen. Keep watching, keep commenting, send your questions away. I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. See you all on the next one.